Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you've all had a great beginning of your work week. I haven't really done much of anything. Um, Nick Ferry stayed about a week, a week and a day last week. He left out on last Thursday, and uh, it was just nonstop shop since he was since he's been here. So I took a, I took yesterday, which is Sunday. I'm posting this a day late. Yesterday, which was Sunday, I took that day to just relax and not really do much of anything. So. I haven't gotten much shop time in since he left. My shop is kind of trashed, but I need to clean it up before I start the next project. So a couple things to get into really quick. Um, first off is a tool recommendation and not to purchase, but to not purchase. This is a, um, oh, I forgot the name. Just I just went blank. I'll post the name of this particular saw on the screen. It's just a pull saw dovetail saw and it's like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon, something like that. Can't recommend it. I've got this for Christmas and I used it a couple times on cheap pine, nothing crazy, and the teeth are already starting to pull out. I've got a couple spots where the teeth are just missing, just pulled right out, so it's kind of a bummer. Um, but anyway, if you're looking into this thing on Amazon, it's relatively inexpensive, kind of tempting, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. Stickers, I've got uh, 16 stickers to put up on the sticker cabinet. Uh, thank you to everyone who has sent me stickers. I've got some stickers of my own, I've mentioned it previously, and come here, I won't let go of the table. A um, couple stickers of my own, just the icon and then just the whole logo or whatever. And I've got these available on my website if you'd like to purchase one. Uh, purchase either one or a set of these. There's a link on my website near the top. Um, if you don't want to purchase them and you want them, uh, all you gotta do is send me a sticker for the community sticker cabinet and I'll return the envelope with one of my own or a set of my own rather. So. Uh, send me some stickers, I'll return some, or if you like to get one, you can purchase one. And if stickers isn't your thing and you really don't care, then that's fine too. Also on the sticker store is an option if you'd like to purchase any one of my plans and not have to print them out yourself. You can buy a physical copy of plans and they will be mailed directly to you. It's just the same price as my plans plus a little bit of a charge to print them out and send them your way. Uh, but I know a lot of people... Uh, don't like the uh, PDF method and they just rather have a physical copy that they don't have to print out So if that's your cup of tea, then uh, uh, There's an option for that as well um, What else do I have? Oh some CNC stuff. I got a lot of really cool things from a guy named Jimmy Angel He uh, is it in the shot? Yeah Sent me this little gold logo of my logo, which is really cool and it's going right there he also sent me some other stuff that I'm going to use for uh, office decoration. I don't have anything in my office that says, like, my business or anything. So he sent me this, which is a CNC inlay. Very awesome. Also a big old sign. Look at that. That's so cool. Very cool. Thank you. And he also sent me, like, my logo is a cube. So he actually made a six-sided cube that I've yet to put together. I'm, I've got the hot glue gun warming up right now so and it's all taped together but anyway it's 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 three-dimensional logo this is so cool uh, I'm gonna glue this together in a couple minutes and I'll probably put something on the screen to show you what it looks like but thanks again for those that's really kind of you and I very much appreciate it also on my second channel if you if you guys are just watching this on my website uh, yesterday I posted a video of my friend Sean Stone's uh, workshop uh, he's about a half hour east of me and uh, me and Nick Ferry went out there and checked out his shop. Uh, it's pretty cool to see some, someone else's shop. I always enjoy seeing other people's shops. And anytime I go into someone else's shop, I'm going to try and get a little video of it and post it on my second channel. So if you're only watching this on my, on my website and don't subscribe to my second channel where this video actually is, then I'll post a link on my website down below this one showing that video. Probably made that more confusing than what it needs to be. Um, also, yesterday's or Sunday's video was a um, collaboration with me and Nick Ferry, and I synchronized the video to the beat of a mu beat of the music. And I really enjoy doing that, but not often. It's so tedious and time-consuming, but the outcome, I just I just really like it. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, I thought I've done five or six of those previously, so I went back and I put all of them in a playlist. And as it turns out, that was the 18th video that I've synchronized to the beat of the music. So, if you're interested in seeing all of those, then I'll post another link down below for the playlist of that particular style video where everything's just synchronized to the beat of the music. As the older 
as the videos get older and older and older, it's, it's less and less noticeable as far as synchronizing, but that's always fun. It's always tedious, but the end results are a lot of fun. And finally, Tool Talks are coming back this week. So Thursday's video will be a Tool Talk on this, sh on this second channel. And it's either going to be on my How I Heat and Cool the Shop, which is a fairly requested topic, my pipe clamps, miter saw, or I'll just leave it to those three. So I'll do one of those three. And hopefully I can shoot a couple of those and have them sitting on my computer ready to edit for the next couple, to, couple weeks. I'd like to keep that going as well. I don't know what this week's video is going to be. It was supposed to be a dining table, but I'm so tossed up as far as how I want to make this dining table. I've got a bunch of red oak, but after seeing the way that the Sapili top came out on that outdoor cabinet that I made, I just, I'm thinking about making a trip a couple hours south to get some more Sapili if they have any. I don't, I just don't know. So. Maybe a dining table this weekend. If not, I'll figure out something else. I've also got some more content to edit uh, from when Nick was here, and I'm not exactly sure when that'll be out. Maybe the next week after that. So anyway, I've got a lot to do. I've still got to clean my shop. It's disaster and it's driving me nuts. So I'll talk to you guys later. You guys take care and have a great day.